This is one in a series of web pages from the University of uh, Cambridge's Engineering Department's web pages. It was created by Emma Wilson in 2007. Uh, she set these up as part of her MEng thesis for her uh, qualification. Basically, she sets out uh, and describes the procession. One of the things that Lathwaite described in one of his lectures was uh, a, a toy gyroscope uh, on ice. Unfortunately, the ice had melted, and so it didn't uh, provide a particularly frictionless surface. But it was supposed to show that uh, the centrifugal force that you would expect with a mass rotating around a centre didn't exist. In actual fact, he was right. Uh, the centrifugal force does exist, but its effect is processed into oblivion, effectively. This is a page taken from the video that they put up of the gyro rotating around a, uh, a, a large plastic base on an airbed. Uh, you can look that up on the website yourself. These are just some of the equations applied to circular motion, which are useless to me because I'm, I suffer from mathlexia, I'd call it. In actual fact, probably thick would be a better description. Newton's laws of motion laid out, nice and easy, first, second and third laws that most people know, and if you don't, you can look those up. And this was the experiment that uh, Emma Wilson set up, which was basically a base for a gyro to rotate around. This base is on, she shows it on rollers to represent the air bed underneath it. And what she says is that the centre of mass of the two, uh, of all of the masses in fact, the base and the gyro, uh, should be about here, so the, the thing will rotate around this centre of mass. That's according to their interpretations of the third law. Here's another drawing, the same, same basic thing from that same website. Basically that the uh, centre of mass is here and the thing will rotate around this point. Uh, you will see from the following video that this is rubbish. Uh, and it doesn't rotate around this mass point, but rotates, uh, as only somebody that worked, versed in gyros would know, around its point of suspension. In this case, it's the top of this pyramid, and you'll see in the following video, I've done it, in fact, because I don't have an airbed, suspended from a very thin thread from this point. And this rotates around that. It does not rotate around the centre of mass of these two items. Watch and learn, people. Here we have a simple arrangement of a gyro suspended by two points with two black threads. You may not be able to see them very well, but the black th threads are here and here attached to the gyro. Uh, the purpose of this is to show one or two anomalies with gyros. Um, once, I want, once I've got the gyro spun up, I shall burn through this left-hand thread, which will leave it suspended from this point only. This means that there is a huge amount of weight uh, on this side of the suspension point, and you'd expect one or two things to happen. A, that under logic, mechanical logic, the gyro suspension point here would move across so that the centre of mass uh, would be in line with its suspension point up here. That doesn't happen. The suspension point stays uh, in that point, uh, which leaves the gyro uh, overhung from that suspension point. Another thing to watch for is when the thing is released, it goes instantly into procession. Now again, another thing you'd expect under normal mechanical laws, that when you apply a force to a given mass, it takes a given amount of time for that given mass to be accelerated. This is not so with a gyro. It accelerates instantly. In fact, acceleration is probably not the right word, but it, it goes into its processional movement instantly with no delays whatsoever, uh, which is a bit unusual to say the least. I'll explain the reason why this happens uh, a little bit later on, but I'll get this set up first and I'll spin the gyro and then I'll burn through this left hand one to release it. Okay, let's get my little motor set up.
This is a lovely little je uh, demonstration gyro, which you can obtain from gyroscopes.org. You will need a few bob for it, they're not cheap, it's not a toy, but it is beautiful. That should be fast enough for what we need to do with it. And there's the old gyro spinning away like mad. I shall try and get it hanging as still as possible. And that's fairly good, I think we can we can go with that. Just to show you again, here's a suspension point of the two threads above and down below. I put a mirror behind it so you can see uh, the, sort of the view from the side and from on top. And now I'm just going to burn through this left hand thread. I'll try not to burn my thumb at the same time. And as you can see, the suspension point is directly above, uh, sorry, the, the suspension point is dead vertical. There's no angling as you'd expect the mass to one side. And I don't know if you saw, but the start was instantaneous as well. I'll do this back in very slow motion once I edit it, and you can see those two things to think about here in this first lesson.